What's going on guys? We got a short little voiceover coming in here on the first deload leg session, probably the only deload leg session. Um, but we'll see how it goes. This is just 135. It's a quarter and two tens per side. So I did about four sets with 185 on the deadlift. I did a couple triples and I just didn't feel like filming it because I was dealing with some shit at the time, literally on the phone and stuff. So it was rough, but I ended up just pulling 185 for a single for the camera after doing a few sets. And then I squatted 135 for a few sets as well. Things are feeling good, the form is fine, just letting the back recover as best as it can. So I decided to do four sets on the leg curl, three sets on the leg press, and then four sets on the leg extension. So I don't know if that's gonna work as far as hypertrophy or you know making me sore. It might make me sore because I don't do that volume that often. But as far as muscle growth, muscle growth, I guess it's hard to say. I usually rely on squats and deads. But then again, I don't know how much squats and deads are important if you're also gonna hammer your other leg work just as hard. I really don't know. Uh, squats and deads are the best way to build a lot of muscle, but if you just wanna activate your quads and stimulate certain muscles, the leg press and the isolations, quads in, or quad extensions and curls seem to be pretty good and I've always had good results. Granted, I've always done them with squats and deads, so it's really hard to say. But for now, I'm gonna be going light to moderate on the compounds, and when it comes to the machines and stuff, I'll try to do my best on those. So after leg extensions, I just hit some adductor abductors and a couple exercises for calves, the usual, and that was that. I did one set as much as I could with hanging leg raises, and I'll put it here uh, in four times speed after this, but I'm trying to keep my legs and knees locked, which makes it about like 20% harder, so I'm getting very good at these. I used to do 50 per workout, but just doing so many sets takes kind of a long time, and I used to have to use straps, so now I just do a set or two, 20 to 30 total, and that's that, so hopefully we can get a better day tomorrow, and we lift, maybe. Peace. What's going on, guys? Just wanted to pop in really quick, uh, post that little leg workout deload. I deloaded the squats and deads, obviously. Back felt good, thank God. It's uh, been a long recovery, but can't complain just got to do what I can think about what I can do not about what I can't do and just try to get better so did what I could on deads and squats for the deload and smashed leg press and all the accessories and normally I really do talk shit about isolations and everything because people use them as like a crutch and a supplement because they don't want to deadlift and squat but if you can't deadlift and squat or if you don't feel like deadlifting and squatting for some reason I'm not sure if the uh, leg press and the leg curl and leg extension can give you as much much hypertrophy or be a supplement to it but I'm gonna try it for now and at least have fun leg training instead of just complaining that I can't deadlift 405 right now or at least do it without potentially hurting myself so things feel okay and other than that it's been a rough day with class and uh, uh, just uh, going through some things honestly I'm sure you guys go through it too sometimes relationship issues pop up at the worst time or when you least expect them and it really derails you and that's just another one of those things another one of those I wouldn't call them distractions but things you have to deal with which can distract you from what you have to do and I'm really honestly the worst person at being able to like remove myself from my emotions and continue doing what I have to do I'm really good at it with some things but when it comes to relationships for some reason from what I've been through and I'm sure a lot of people can relate guys and girls uh, right now it's a struggle for me so just being honest with you guys, I'm sure some of you have been through that or know through it, but sometimes you just feel like you can't stop being a fucking bitch <laughs> and you know, it gets to you and uh, I get upset with myself and disappointed at myself when I make wrong decisions. But again, that's life and uh, I try to learn from my mistakes. Sometimes I don't and it really bothers me. But anyways, just popping in after the workout, sun's gone down a bit, heading to this class and I'm gonna edit catch up on some things, make sure I don't fall behind with studying in school because I already feel like I'm right here with everything and if I slack off, I'm really not gonna get straight A's which I wanna get. And uh, had a meeting with the physical therapy school today. Basically they just told me getting into the summer anatomy course is random. So I don't know if I told you guys about that, but it's all a struggle. My schedule is set though, so I'll put it in here. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday class. Mondays and Fridays I can skip every now and then. Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays are gonna be hell. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna quit vlogging and driving because we're moving again, but thank you guys for watching. And if you guys can relate, just feel with me, all right? That's all I ask and you're not alone, but uh, good luck to you guys. And let's get to campus and get shit done. When your mood is low, deal with it, but get back on the horse because you 
got to do it. Thanks guys, I'll see you in a minute. Peace. Oh yeah, and another reason why my spirits are lifted is I took a step back, got in touch with a couple clients and a couple friends and my boy Kyle, um, who we just started working together this week, had the funniest WhatsApp, uh, FaceTime, whatever, conversation. And uh, if you're watching this, bro, that was definitely... <laughs> Definitely a first time doing shit like that. So it's really funny, but uh, again, when you guys are low, contact someone, get in touch with someone, get your mind off something, and just uh, find support. And if you can't find support, support someone else, and just keep shit positive. So thanks, guys. Thanks, Kyle. Shout out to you, man. It's gonna be a fun eight weeks and maybe beyond. So let's make some gain. Honestly, who is aware? If you're aware, you're my favorite subscriber of all time. Just letting you know that. Favorite subscriber, if you're aware. Zero fucks All right, given. so I realize now after picking this spot after that class that uh, it's a little dark to see. Maybe, I don't know, but post-workout shake was straight. Now it's time for some post-workout beef and pasta. And on top of that, Cliff Bar chocolate brownie. So, made it to class on time. Got to return something I need to return and get money in the bank for it. And now we're going to eat and hit the library. Epic news in my class is that our lab is canceled tomorrow, our 8 a.m. lab. So, maybe I'll just sleep in and train instead of waking up early and going to lab, but it's hard to say. It is a deload week, so if I don't feel up for it, I won't. <coughs> Keep eating and studying all night, so I'm ready to knock out, and we'll see how I feel in the morning. Up to train, it's probably gonna be a really good day to work out now that I think of it, so. Let's keep eating and sleeping, God damn it. That's all you can do. The grind. Mm-hmm.